Hello, listeners. Welcome to A Familiar Journey, a D&D actual play podcast brought to you by Brain Adventures. A Familiar Journey tells the story of four animal familiars on a quest to save the legendary heroes of the realm from a mysterious evil entity. Let's meet our animal adventurers. Hello, everybody. I'm Logan Arnis, and I play Nimbus the Sheep. Nimbus's fun fact for this week is, or this episode is, Nimbus calls the moon the big sheep in the sky. Hi everyone, my name is Christina and I play Arminda. And her fun fact is that Arminda and Margulies have over a hundred inside jokes about each other. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Hi, I'm Hana. Oh my god, I started the thing in Discount's voice. Hi, I'm Hana. Not Discount, not yet. Hi, I'm Hana and I play Discount the Chameleon. And <laughs> Discount's fun fact is. I think I'm a master acupuncturist, but really, I'm just taking needles wherever I want. Masochism. That's tight. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I am Izzy Rebels, the dungeon master for a familiar journey, and I also play Cloudy the Cat. Cloudy's fun fact for this episode is kind of a fun fact about a few different characters, actually. Trayson has a big afro puff as his hair, and when he was a baby, he would cry a lot. Balcom and Gilder, his fathers, would always refer to him as their little storm cloud. This very nickname is what inspired the names for Cloudy and Nimbus later in Trayson's life. Aww. So cute. That is that cute. Was, thank you. <laughs> Cutest piece of information, thank you. Aww. You're welcome. Last time on A Familiar Journey, while our animal adventurers begin their quest through the Infinity Forest, a young owlbear named Cubber is ordered by his abusive father to lure in some animals for him to eat. Cubber soon finds and befriends our heroes, whom he initially plans on trapping for his father, but after the familiars learn of Cubber's unhealthy home life, they fight off his father and unofficially adopt this youngling into their group. Cubber, in return, offers his assistance in escorting the group to Tristel. So with that, let's get right into the episode. How is everybody feeling about Cover? Cover oh, is I, cute. I love Cover, <laughs> but I can't stay out of his accent. <laughs> um, I'm eventually going to have to admit to Cover that I'm not his papa. Mm. So well, I need. He doesn't already know. So I need you to know that I ain't your papa, but I love you like a son. <laughs> I'm not your father. It's not, not possible. <laughs> <laughs> that long held out no, but in a country accent. No. Wait, 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 no oh, heck. Oh, 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 shucks. <laughs> That's inconceivable. You keep okay. using that word, word, but I do not think you know what it means. Yeah. Inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Lizzie finally this, gets that reference. Is this going to finally get that reference. You finally watched, the, you haven't seen The Princess Bride before? Uh, I only just watched it for the first time, like, I don't know, six months ago, maybe. You. That's bad, and you should feel bad. I did feel bad for the longest time, but now I'm over it, okay? It's done. We did it. We're past it. Arminda, Nimbus, Cloudy the Cat, and Discount, along with Cubber, the little owlbear cub, you all arrive at a river. Real quick, everybody go ahead and roll me history checks. Love to make me roll things I'm terrible at. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, that I mean, is... love to be terrible at things I ask you to roll. So that is a total oh. of two. <laughs> I've got a 19. If it makes you feel better, did you just see what I rolled? A three. <laughs> so I actually rolled a three, but I have a negative one that makes it a two. Okay. I I have a plus one. I rolled a two, and that makes it a three. Hey. Uh, you're all pathetic. I rolled a nine. Do we share a brain cell, Logan? <laughs> we share a brain cell. I, I I claim this now. You guys practically share a body. I think discount is always like residing in 
uh, Nimbus's wool, so. I'm also, like, not using Nimbus's fluff as a hiding space for all of my things. We all arrive at this river, and Cubber speaks up and lets you all know. So, uh, this here is the, is the river with a name that, uh, you know, it, it's just a name, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. But anyway, this river, go ahead, it's going to get you to the Lake of Water, which is the official name of the lake here in Rundalim, if y'all were unfamiliar. Uh, I spend a lot of time out here in the woods, so I know quite a bit about the environment and nature and, and such. Um, but yeah, this, this river, though. Nobody nobody knows about this river, right? Uh, Nimbus and Discount, as you roll terribly, you do not know about this river. <laughs> Arminda, on the other hand, Arminda, this river is extremely familiar for two reasons. One is because at the edge of this river, where the river and the lake meet, is actually where you and the Paxalotl, a.k.a. your family, used to reside back when you lived with them. So you're familiar with the river for that reason. You're also familiar with the river because it is a huge urban legend. This river is known as the Sinking River. And it is known for that because every little boat and ship, every single sailor, every single swimmer, everyone that's ever gotten into the waters here have all sink, have all sunk, and drown. Drowned. Those are weird past tense words. I don't like that. <laughs> What's it, yeah, what, what is the difference between sank and sunk? I don't know. Uh, so, Arminda, you were the only one with that information. All right, everyone. Uh, we're here in this beautiful river lake. And um, I have no idea how we're going to cross it since it's so dangerous. Uh, the reality of this river lake is that everyone drowns. I'm uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Cloudy like rushes up to you and puts her paws, her front paws, on your bowl, leans hard on top of you, and just like, "What do you mean everybody drowns in the water? The water, the, the, this run, water here." And do not touch the bowl. Oh my God! Step aside. Okay. So if I were to uh, touch it, I would drown. Nimbus like goes up to put his hoof into the water. Uh, uh, you see in the background, Cover is, like, trying to rip Cloudy off of Arminda's uh, crystal ball. <laughs> and then he sees Nimbus going for the river, and he rushes up. Oh, no, d- don't do that, little sheep boy. Uh, and he, like, dog piles you, Nimbus. Oh, God, okay. but I'm on Nimbus. No! Ooh. Oh, my God, stop. No. Why do you always have to be so crazy? You're crushing me, son. You're crushing me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Papa. Chameleon. Ugh. He he picks you up out of Nimbus's wool and holds you closely in his little owl bear paws and just like I'm so sorry, Papa. You you you're my hero. I would never do anything to hurt you on purpose or by accident, probably. <laughs> it's he okay. Gently places you back. It's okay, son. I trust. This is really no, this here river is very dangerous, y'all. It is it's known to, you know, drown and sink everybody who's ever come in contact with it. Why didn't you lead with that? Uh, um, I remember there is an ancient bridge to cross it. I I think I, I've heard oh. some stories about some ancient bridges too. Uh we can try and look for one. Let's all go look for an ancient bridge. Uh, wait, wait, this is not that easy. We need to, like, wait, I think I have a book. Excuse me. Arminda goes and da- deep down in her crystal ball uh-huh. for a few seconds and comes out with a book the size of her head. Uh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> she opens it. Okay, yes, Asian Bridge, Asian Bridge, not here, Asian Bridge, not here, Asian Bridge. Claudia is running frantically back and forth in the background, super, like, scared and nervous. I have a book. <laughs> you have a book? Nimbus, like, sticks his face into the wall and pulls out a book, and it's The Three Little Goblins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sheep. What is that, Tracy's Wait. bedtime story? Yeah, I'll look in this one. Okay, shut Flip. up, I think I Flip. found it. Flip. No! I got it, okay? Ancient breaches come along when you must need it. They are not there. You must need it. So we need to Mm. focus 
and really the right but thing. We need yes. it. But the ancient breed needs to know it. So we all need to come together and really need it. Bridge, bridge. We you need you. need to focus, you. not to yell at the bridge. Yes. Bridge, we need you, please. <laughs> we all need to close our eyes. Closing. Close your eyes. Focus. Um. And now think deep with your heart. Why do you want and need to cross the river lake? Focus. Go. Yeah. So everybody dig deep inside and think hard on why you need a bridge to appear right now. And I'm going to say, let's all do a little bit of an external inner monologue. So Cloudy is going to say she needs a bridge because she knows that if she falls in the water, she will descend to the nine hells as all bodies of water eventually lead to the nine hells. Why does Nimbus believe they need a bridge? For the most important reason in the entire world, to make Trayson happy and bring his pa home. Hmm. Cute. Discount. Why does Discount need a bridge? Because there's gold on the other side of that river. I'm sure. <laughs> and I don't want to die. You got very bad on that history check, so... I mean, there could be gold on the other side of this river. You know. <laughs> <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> and I don't want to die. What about Arminda? Why does Arminda need a bridge? Arminda needs a bridge because she needs to release Margolis for the, from that purple dragon because Margolis is her only family now. Mm. So if she doesn't get to Margolis on time, she'll be alone forever. And she still has some thousand years to live. Mm. True. <laughs> and Cover needs a bridge because this is the this is like my, my new family now. The, these, these animals here. And uh, I need to, to make them proud so that I'm not a disappointment like I was with my last family, I guess. So I want to make sure that they're happy and that I please them. So bridge, please. <laughs> uh, and with this, uh, you're all focusing, you're all meditating, you're all very zen, and you feel a rush of wind and open up just one of your eyes and you see a bridge magically starting to form out of nowhere that allow that will allow you to cross the sinking river. <laughs> Good job, everybody. We did it. I thought real hard. Oh boy. Cloudy sprints forward, absolutely terrified of the thought of even trying to get across the water. So she just wants to get it over with. But as she does so, the bridge is not done fully forming and she's running so fast. She's going to outrun the bridge before it's even done uh, becoming conjured into reality. Can I just grab grab the cat with my mage hand? Mage hand? I don't know how to... How was it called? Yeah, your telekinesis. Mage. Yeah, mage can hand, I like yeah. grab Cloudy? Uh, go ahead and give me a... Let's do a... Animal handling? Let's do an arcana check. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, do animal uh, handling. I like that, that makes sense. Oh yeah, I'm like rolling really nice today. 23. Ooh. What the heck? That is... Why can't I roll so, that So, nice? a 23 is very oh, good, really? but it does not beat the stealth check that Cloudy made, because Cloudy got a nat 20 on her stealth check to try and just book it out of here. So, Cloudy runs at the speed of sound, far surpassing the bridge, and instantly falls into the water and is rushed away. Cloudy is like 40 feet away from all of you now. Nimbus runs and jumps into the, the river. No! Okay. So no! Nimbus and Discount is on you right now. <laughs> oh, oh dear, okay. How could you? How could you take me with you? I was just gonna watch you kill yourself, and now I have to die with you. Think of the same flame sister. Uh, Cover goes ahead and grabs your ball, Arminda, and he's like, okay, so I guess we're doing this, Dan. Uh, and he just jumps into the river with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fish, so I'm all right, but you are not. Yeah, Cover is trying to keep himself afloat on top of your crystal ball because your crystal ball floats. Oh my god, it's not touching the ball! <laughs> I 
see behind me. Cover, Cubby is uh, floating off Arminda's ball, and I'm and I look at Nimbus, and I'm like, full of fluff, floating ball, full of fluff, floating ball, and I'm going to use my tongue to latch myself onto mm. Arminda's ball. From how many feet behind me? We'll say Arminda's ten ball. feet. Cubby. So that should be within the of here. Beautiful, awesome. It's in range. It is within range. Tongue. Awesome. Uh, I'm going. To uh, I have to roll the hit, right? Uh, yeah, go ahead. That is a 20 modified. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you instantly just go ahead and stick your tongue right on there. You can die by yourself, Nimbus. I'm not <laughs> drowning today. I'm not going to drown. I'm going to save everyone. Nimbus, no, uh, I assume you're going to try and stay afloat in the water here? Correct. All right, go ahead and make an athletics check. It's a 17. That's very good. So I'm going to say, though, you can either, with a 17, you can either keep yourself afloat or you can start sinking, but you will do so uh, next to Cloudy. I will sink next to Cloudy. Okay, so you can rush up to Cloudy and get up to her. And uh, Arminda, Cover, and Discount, you all see Cloudy and Nimbus starting to drown in the sinking river together about like 30 feet in front of you. I don't have any skills that can do anything about this. I choose. Mage hand again? Can I grab them? I don't I think so. I think you can only grab one of them though. So which one would you like to grab? Grab cat because I feel like Nimbus can I mean, Nimbus is just drowning because of Cloudy. So I Cloudy's actually drowning. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're both drowning. In fact, I'll say all of you will notice because Nimbus I think maybe because Nimbus and Cloudy are both the only furry creatures here, other than Cover, who is keeping himself afloat on you, Arminda, you think it's the fur is potentially what's weighing them down and causing them to drown. You know what I, I have to do? You, you're making me do it, and I hate you. I know. <laughs> I just have to go dip down into the river, find my family, and ask for help. Well, before we can do that, um, yeah. still, are you going to, yeah. you can still hold aloft either Cloudy or Nimbus. Which one are you going to go with? I will hold Cloudy just because she's hysterical. Okay, cool. <laughs> good, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that is probably the best course of action. So you go ahead, uh, Nimbus, you see Cloudy is lifted aloft just above the river surface by telekinesis that you recognize as Arminda's. Nimbus, though, you see yourself drowning deeper and deeper into the river and you see water and bubbles. Uh, how is Nimbus reacting right now? Nimbus, I don't think quite grasps what is actually happening. Okay, all right, Cloudy's safe. No, I just have to swim back to the surface. I'm a good swimmer. I spent that summer with the frogs. I know what I'm doing. It's always frogs. <laughs> I know, it's always frogs. There are no frogs, but we always <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nimbus, as you drown, it gets darker and darker. The light of the sun seems to be fading out as you sink deeper and deeper into the river until it is nothing but darkness here. And Nimbus, you are all alone, and you no longer hear Cloudy's hysterical screaming and panicking. You don't hear Arminda and the Spanish bubbles. You just hear what sounds like a very faint rushing of water, but like you're far away from it is almost what it sounds like. Hmm. But you do realize you're no longer actually drowning. There's no like water going in your lungs or anything. Uh, Nimbus is going to attempt to say hello in Aquin. Oh, do you speak Aquin? Uh, I spent a summer learning Aquin from some frogs. <laughs> okay, that's one of your fun facts, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, not fluent at all, but all knows right. a few phrases. So yeah, you reach out and say hello in Aquin, and you feel something poke you in your back. Something, it, it's sharp, but it doesn't pierce you. <laughs> look, look for it. You see a giant blue and white biter. Say spider? Yes, I, I said spider. <laughs> oh, it sounded like you said biter. I was oh. like... <laughs> yeah, I heard biter too. I was like... Uh, let's say that again. You see a giant <laughs> white and blue spider. Oh, hi there. Did you save me? No, I didn't save you. I, I, I actually caught you so I could eat you. Oh, that's not very nice. Um, can you uh, let me go so I can get back to my friends? Mm. Please? Persuasion. 
Yeah, go ahead. Do persuasion. <laughs> the most adorable sheep eyes ever. I mean, that makes you a lot more tasty. That is an 18 on persuasion. Ooh, okay. Good job. So, this big spider currently wrapping you up in webbing as you're doing this. Just super, like, nonchalantly, though. Just like, hmm, you make some interesting points. Yeah, maybe I do want to let you go as they just continue to wrap you in webbing. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm going to cast Guiding Bolts. Oh, okay. So what is that? It's an attack spell. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so go ahead and make, that's an attack roll, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll. Well, unfortunately, you appear not to be letting me go, so I will have to resort to violence. So proper. <laughs> and that is a uh, 21 to hit. Okay, yeah, I don't have the stats pulled up, but I'm pretty sure that hit. All right, and this is radiant damage. All right, so what does your guiding bolt look like, Nimbus? Um, it is actually a glowing saliva that Nimbus spits. Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh, God. Bold choice. Loving it. <laughs> so you... Yeah, it, it's, it's like silvery, goldish, glowing spit that just poof, it splats on against them and lights them up. Okay, cool. So you spit right on their face, uh, and the spider <laughs> kind of backs up. Oh, like, oh okay, that was, that was so rude. Like, I, I feel like I'm being really chill about all this. Like, I'm just going to super quick eat you up like a little snack that you are, and you just spit in my face. Like, that's just... <laughs> I mean, that's uncalled for. That was 14 for. damage. 14 damage. Oh, my God. All right. Right in all the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> all 14 um, of Sweet. Them. So we're going to cut back. Arminda, Discount, Cloudy, and Cubber are all floating about in the river here. Arminda, you're going to continue holding Cloudy aloft, and you're going to get to the point in the river where you saw Nimbus sink. Uh, what would any of you like to do now? Can I deposit Cloudy on the bridge? The bridge is too far away, but you can just put her right on the like other the side of the ground here. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and uh, I I I need to sink and go after Cloudy. But what about the other two? Can I like Nimbus? Uh, yeah. What did I say? Cloudy. Cloudy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Um. So, how close am I to the other side of the river? To the ground. Like I'm still uh, floating, the other right? Side of the river? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh you would be about like 70 feet away from that side of the river. That's too far away. <laughs> yeah. Um Cubber is going to I think Cubber is just gonna jump back onto the other side that they was on where Cloudy is now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's gonna just like comfort her and he'd be like, It's okay, uh to it's okay, cat lady. I know plenty of people who scream and cry and, and wet themselves, you know, out of fear. I didn't wet myself. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. You're just so wet. I I couldn't tell. I just assume I made a a bold assumption about you. And I I am so sorry. Oh, okay. So uh, discount can descend from my ball as well, right? And I can go after Nimbus. Yeah, discount. Why don't you, do you, would you like to do that discount? Um, Yes, get that off my ball. I need to go after the sheep. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to. I don't want to die. But uh, just because Arminda was like, "Get off me!" I lick my tongue <laughs> all over Arminda's ball before I leap on the okay, shore. Cool. Disgusting little toad. Um, Good thing you're in the water. Chameleon, you're the you frog. <laughs> At least I'm a what real reptile. All right. Uh, discount. <laughs> I actually need you to make a. Let's do a. Constitution saving throw. Oh, nat 20. Okay. Nice. That's probably really bad. Um, Unfortunately, that's pretty bad for you, actually. uh, Wait, what? So now I need you to roll a, let's do a dexterity saving throw, and you have to beat your constitution saving throw. Are you... (laughs) What? So go ahead and make me that dexterity saving throw. Nah, 20. Nah, 20. Nah, 20. 23! Okay, so that doesn't be a nat 20. <laughs> what is happening here is your constitution saving throw was to determine how sticky your saliva is that you just applied to Arminda's crystal ball. And you try to jump from that, but because it was a nat 20 on stickiness, you are totally adhered to the crystal ball. Arminda, no! I'm going to say you don't even notice. No! And you just deep dive no! into the river. Discount, you are also 
like or a bobber just thing. like yeah. flopping above in the water. <laughs> yeah, you're like hanging on by your little feet that are stuck onto your sticky tongue juices. No, let me go. <laughs> All right, so uh, discount Arminda, you head deeper into the river and you enter into the like darkness and the bubbly waters, and you do see Nimbus at the bottom of the river next to some giant blue white spider looking thing. Uh, what do you do? Do chameleons eat spiders? Probably. I mean, the yeah. spider is like that spider would eat you. you. We'll see mm-hmm. about that. The spider's like the size of a human. I want to attack the spider. Attack the spider. Yes. And what you gonna do? La, 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 la. Well, I guess my only attack is lightning lure, right? I know, no, no, cierto. Oh, catapult! I can catapult yourself. Yeah, and it's also a sixty feet range. So. Ooh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was gonna. Oh, say, yeah, probably too far right away for you, the lightning lure. Uh-huh. So yeah, go ahead. You can cast catapult. I rolled the three little yeah. dice. Yeah, roll the damage. That's the damage. Damage is 12. Okay. But then what do I roll? Oof. Okay. So for that one, it is you're like launching yourself at the spider. So the spider has to try and dodge you. So you don't make a roll for that. I do. Wait, am I still, yeah, am I still, still stuck on our window? Yeah, Correct. you're still stuck on them. Absolutely. <laughs> you got a nat 20 on your stickiness. Why did I roll a nat 20 <laughs> the only time I really should it? <laughs> Uh, what about I roll survival? Because I'm throwing uh, myself at it. No, you'll be okay. You'll you'll hit. You'll impact the the spider, so it'll like cushion your fall. But it does take full damage. So what was the damage on it, Arminda? Twelve. Twelve damage. Awesome. Discount. I will say because you got a nat twenty, and I want to be generous. At the bottom of the river here, you see multiple different piles of broken ships and you know broken boats, a couple skeletons, stuff like that. Each one with little piles of gold in them. <gasps> get get eh, I want to get off. I want off this ride. I want all the gold. You're still stuck onto Armina though, so if you want to ah. move, I think you kind of have to use your tongue to like latch onto something and then pull you and Armina towards it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Cool. So. Where's the closest gold? How far? How many feet away is Wait, the closest we're, shiny? We're gold? saving Nimbus. <laughs> gold. Uh, I'll say the closest <laughs> pile of shiny gold is actually right behind the spider here, so you can reach it no problem. You can scoop it up with your tongue as Armin impacts uh, both of you into the spider. Um. Okay. You just gonna go ahead and scoop up that gold, right? No, I want to get us at the gold. Oh. <laughs> I want to be where the gold is. Okay, so go ahead and make a... Let's do... Well, I think we have to do a strength check. So you can do... Let's do a strength saving throw. Damn it, I'm not that strong. I didn't think so. I rolled a nat one, and I have a minus one. So it's a zero, guys. I rolled a zero. I'm so oh glad God. you rolled a zero. Why do I have to roll so on the far end of the spectrum? Because okay. you wanted to take us to the gold instead of saving your friend. Okay, so a lot of things are happening I here. Gonna, and I, I, gotta... I was going to hide the gold in Nimbus's blood. <laughs> a lot of things are happening. I'm going to narrate what happens here. So, Arminda, you get ready to cast Catapult on yourself, which you do. Discount, however, rockets their tongue out to that pile of gold. Discount, you literally touch the pile of gold with your tongue, planning to adhere to it so you can redirect... Uh, the catapult spell to land on the gold so you can have as much of it as you want but in doing so you hit the gold too hard and actually propel yourself off of the gold pile for misdirecting both yourself and Arminda's catapult spell so Arminda instead of hitting the spider you're gonna hit Nimbus, Nimbus. what <laughs> I'm so tired of being with stupid animals <laughs> So Nimbus, out of nowhere, you are webbed up and taken just completely off of your game by this weird spider living under the water, I guess. And then, poop, this Arminda just hits you right in the face. (laughs) And you also hear discount. Yeah, so you're going to take that damage. That was, I believe, 12 damage, Nimbus. Correct. Oh. Well, it's not my fault. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. The spider's trying to eat me. I don't care. Lit. Me, go! There's go! Shut up, frog! Because of you, we failed! Nimbus, 
We need to get you out of here. No. Okay. Uh, Spider's just going to crawl up to all of you, just kind of interjecting, be like, hey, so is this more of my lunch or like what, what's happening? I, I, I didn't order this much. No, I'm not tasty. In fact, you look tasty, but I want that gold. So uh, you should let us go or I'll eat you. Can I like <laughs> head bash? Oh. Can I can I roll intimidation on that? Just like I'm threatening to eat this giant spider. Like what? How many times? Have I Let's do. Go ahead and give me deception instead. Discount. And then the spider's too far away from you. Thirteen. Okay. Then I want to try breaking out. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Give me a. Let's do a strength saving throw. You got a thirteen discount. Okay. Yeah. That's a nine. Okay. Yeah. Spider's not convinced that this little like what are you like three inches big or something discount that you're going to be able to eat it. So it's just kind of like, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, and Nimbus, you are unfortunately still restrained. You can't get yourself free out of this webbing. Mm. Mm. Why is this wool so sticky? I just uh, hide my tongue back in my mouth. Listen, I am Armina from the Paxolotl, and you need to step away from us. Uh, the spider goes ahead and does lean in close enough and does get a good look at Arminda. Arminda, you see like 16 eyes focus very intently on you. And they're like, oh my God, little Arminda. Oh, last time I saw you, you were only like 810 years old. Oh, <laughs> you're so big now. You, oh God. Hi, Betty. How are you? Oh, hi, Arminda. I am so good. Oh. I I gotta say I'm so sorry. I didn't. Your mother. I I found out. You know. It's fine. It's of, fine. Oh. We don't need. We don't need to talk about that. Uh, we just. We just wanna go. Um. But uh, very nice to mm -hmm. see you again. Huh? You your mom? Yes, it's so nice to see you. Say hello to the kids. Yes, yeah, I will. Are these are these all animal buddies with you? Yes, I have to carry these stupid animals, but uh, they they're okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Betty goes ahead and she takes the webbing off of you, Nimbus, and instead she makes like a little basket of webbing around all of you. <laughs> you see that she, this is actually a phase spider is specifically what this is, which is a spider that is capable of essentially like teleporting between the material plane and the ethereal plane. The ethereal plane is like a ghostly version of the material plane where all rules are kind of off. So that's why you guys aren't drowning or have to worry about water because you're not in the material plane where water exists. Oh. So Benny goes ahead and she like swims you out of there and Cubber and Cloudy are just kind of hanging out on top of the surface. Cubber is patting Cloudy's back as she's coughing up a fur ball. <coughs> oh my God. Ugh. This is the worst thing I've ever felt in the past like two days. Why do I keep trying new things? <laughs> coverage is like there dare um okay l l little cat lady um i'm sure your friends will be fine our friends our, our family th they'll be fine they have to be papa chameleon, pa -pa 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 -chameleon. Uh, and then a giant spider leg just comes out from the water and smashes into the ground right in front of them and they both scream giant spider <laughs> Uh, they both run back, and Betty comes up, and she's got this little basket. She opens it up, and Nimbus, Discount, and Arminda, you are all delivered back onto the surface here. There was so much gold. Thanks, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Oh, of course. We'll see you next. I would rather die. <laughs> there was so much gold. I get a hold of yourself. That really does happen. We're all just having this quaint conversation and discounts in the background just weeping. <laughs> I hit the gold rock. <laughs> well, Arminda, I know Armando, you know, he's been asking about you, wondering if I've seen anything, if I've drowned anyone recently who's seen you. You should go see him. Thank you, Betty. I'll think about it. Okay. Who's Armando? Oh, shut up, sheep. What? All right, well, I'll see you all later. You know, have a good time. You know, the Paxolotl, they moved back to the to the edge of the sinking river, you know. So if you want to see them, they're they're only, like, less than a mile that way. Who's the Paxolotl? Oh, my God. Uh, thank you, Betty. Thank you. Just... All right. Is, is, there, is there any way I could get some of that gold in those ships? Betty just crawls back into the water. She'd be like, okay, bye. Uh, you know... <laughs> 
Fuck. No, no, but the gold! Gold! Get a hold of yourself, Frog! <laughs> this count is weeping over the side of the river, just like reaching the little hand into the water. So, who's the Paxolotl? If I just. No if... one, okay? But you, uh, you said but... you are of the Paxolotl. It's none of your business. Many mentioned the Paxolotl. And who's Armando? And you've never talked about your mom before. Oh. If I reach into the river, you think I'll drown and get more gold? Can someone shut up the frog? Yeah, Cover comes by and picks up Discount and puts her over his shoulder and just kind of like, he also pats your back and he's just like, there, there, pa- Papa, Papa Chameleon. Um, So I have something that I think we need to, that I want to discuss with all of y'all. Um, I think y'all are great and y'all's is swell, but think maybe i need to find my own path and figure out who i am on my own as as an owlbear individual so also you guys are kind of chaotic and really crazy and i don't know if i can afford all that after you know all the stuff that i've been going through so maybe y'all need to work on yourselves and your own dynamic before you can start including new people into this family uh but anyway, ouch! <laughs> y'all have been really swell to me, and I appreciate everything. And so I would like to give you this, and it's a pouch. And this is a pouch of stuff that I stole from my papa because I guess, you know, he was a bad guy in the end, which is super surprising to me. I never would call that, but whatever. Y'all, y'all more insightful than me. So in this pouch, you will find three gold. And you will find a very small jar of honey. Aww. Oh, thank you, Cobra. Damn it. Lastly, you will find a potion of healing. Ah. Thank you, Winnie. So, that's just a little token of my appreciation. I'm going to head out to that bridge that we conjured, and I'll see y'all later. But I hope you, you figure out y'all's stuff, and maybe we can see each other again someday. I want you to know that you were the best surrogate. Owl bear child, a chameleon papa could ask for. That means so much to me, Papa Chameleon. I will miss you dearly. And you too, little sheep boy, little cat lady, and especially you, Missy, in the bowl. Mm, yes, me too. And then Miss is gonna hold a uh, discount really close and just be like, oh, they grow up so fast. <laughs> Look at him. He's his own owl bear now. Aww. Cover heads off to the bridge and Waves you all goodbye as he leaves. Um, Arminda, looks like you are at your wit's end here in multiple different ways. You are less than a mile from the lake now, but you do know what awaits you at the edge of the river where the lake meets the sinking river. It is the Paxolotl. So all chips are on you, Arminda. What would you like to do? We need to keep going. Mm -hmm. And... uh... (sighs) I'll just, I'll just deal with it when I have to deal with it. And Arminda will indeed deal with it next time on A Familiar Journey. Oh, damn. Uh, that went so quick. <laughs> Hello, listeners. We hope you enjoyed this episode of A Familiar Journey. Look forward to new episodes every other week as we follow our animal adventurers on this exciting quest. Make sure to follow Brain Adventures on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for listening.